Bird Show, you're all here! <laughs> Any sun bars today? Yeah. Any sun tans today? Yeah. And you can all just be chocolate, it'd be good. <laughs> What's up, Jesus Freaks? How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, the five o'clock, they were, they were alive, but they were I think they needed dinner. You'll have third show, best show. Third show? Best show. started out, we, Michael and I were, were dorm mates, uh, or roommates uh, in a dorm at Liberty University. Did we play golf? He was a golfer. I was in choir. <laughs> True story. Well, that got you farther than golf got me, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, the next year, Kevin Max came and uh, we all got an apartment. I was in the karate. <laughs> <laughs> we got an apartment off campus and lived there and started DC Talk. And then, uh, we finally uh, were getting close to a record deal when suddenly uh, we got a phone call from this guy named Bill Gaither. But he, he didn't want to talk to Kevin or I. He just wanted to talk to Michael Tate. He asked Michael if he would try out for the Gaither vocal band. This is a true story. So uh, Bill Gaither sent the jet down to Lynchburg to pick up Michael. And Kevin and I were busy working and going to school, and I was working at this place called Cargo Furniture in the mall. <laughs> okay, Max. And I was working at uh, Benetton, uh, folding shirts and jackets in a perfect place. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to talk, and we're like, okay, what if, what if Michael gets this game, the vocal band thing? What's going to happen? Are we going to continue on as DC Talk as just a duo, or what? So we made, while well, Michael was in Indiana with Bill Gaither, Kevin and I made a, talked about it. We said, okay, we'll meet on our lunch break at Chick-fil-A and have a discussion. Yeah. Back then, they didn't have the special sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so we met there, and we decided that we would go on with, without Michael. Thanks a lot, Bill. Well, guys. <laughs> I mean, if you got the gig, you, you know, you said we were going to take Nathan. We were going to call BB Wines, right? <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, what happened was uh, we were waiting for the word back, and finally Bill Gaither calls and tells Michael he didn't get the gig. But to Mark Lowry, a guy named Mark Lowry. <laughs> and, uh, that would have been my choice over mine. <laughs> I would have taken tape myself, but uh, that is true. I got I gotta be honest, I feel like uh, that call, I'm, I'm thankful for that call. I'm really yes! glad I can have Michael still with us. It was really good for Kevin and I, and I think it was even better for Michael. Amen. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, then we moved, packed up a U-Haul, and we moved from Lynchburg, Virginia to Nashville, Tennessee, signed a record deal. And we got to open up for a few bands. Eddie DeGarmo, who's on the ship, he actually DeGarmo and he asked us to open for them. We were very grateful for that. We have not forgotten that. 
And then Michael W. Smith asked us to go out with him for a couple of tours. But uh, the truth was we were learning along the way. We were laughing like brothers, sometimes crying like brothers, hungry, not even being able to pay for meals sometimes like brothers. Um, and, and ultimately, most of the time, fighting like brothers. Lots of fighting. Yeah, and the thing about fighting is, what I'm figuring out as I'm getting up in years is it's easy to fight. It's easy to fight. What's hard is to get small and make room for somebody else. Mm. And to me, being in a band with three lead singers, you have to get small. And God was teaching us that every day, bit by bit. Getting smaller to make way for my brothers, teaching each of us that. Finally, uh, we went to uh, the Grammy Awards. It was our first time we were up for a Grammy for free. So last. excited. Up for a Grammy for free at last. So we're like, okay, we, we go to my cousin Joey's and we stay the night at his house because we couldn't afford a hotel. He lived in an apartment in the city. So uh, the forefront bought a limo for us. They send a limo over. And uh, we're going to the Grammys. I don't, I don't remember why we were fighting. Something we were arguing about, like literally getting ready for the Grammy Awards. We go down to the limo. I think. I didn't tell you what it was. <laughs> we, we went to... Uh, I bet you can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know what we got. We went to like a thrift store. Me and you. And got these really cool jackets. And no, we didn't buy a Toby one. And you didn't, we didn't get to it. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> we, used to, we used to dress alike. And Kevin and I found these cool jackets. And I was like, those are pink. We got the limo on tour with that. You guys need me a jacket. That was pretty close. I don't you, guys, know. you guys are taking me off the runway here. Listen. <laughs> what happened was, whatever, whatever it was, we got, a, we got an argument. Probably my fault. And well, mostly Kevin's. <laughs> and I just remember it hit me. Here we are in a limo. Mm going to the biggest award show that the world recognizes for music, the Grammys, and we're up for a Grammy. And I just remember starting, I just started crying because I'm like, this is pathetic. Like, this is our dream come true. God is answering every dream we've ever had, every prayer. We're going to the Grammys. This is crazy, and we're fighting. We're fighting, we're arguing, like yelling, probably cursing each other, to be honest with you. True, 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 true. And I'm, and I'm like, this is, this is awful. And I remember I was like, something has to give. Mm. The next week we were on tour, and I read the scripture, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. And I was just convicted. So I said, I brought Michael and Kevin together, and I said, let's make a pact. Let's say for this whole tour, before we go to bed, before we jump in our bunks on the bus, we will make things right with each other. And we did. That Woo! led to the song, Just Between You and Me.